Welcome to day 80 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we're gonna have a look at how to integrate Zapier into your Google Sheets from Webflow. So when a user fills in the form on Webflow, it takes that information to Google Sheets using Zapier. We're gonna link all the fields, all the columns, all the rows so that the information is passed on correctly in the right place. Now, there are many other ways to do this. Zapier seems to be the easiest, free, and most convenient way. Let's see this in action. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. Let's go. Okay, so what we have here is my pricing page. So my pricing page currently have a tab section that has a monthly plan and a custom request section that we're going to build today. So basically, we're going to build a form here that integrates to Zapier, copies the information and pasted it, pastes it on a Google Sheet. And then from the Google Sheet, I can take care of it from there. So let's build this. It's going to be super easy, super simple. Uh, so first thing, we're going to build a form section. So, well, first I'm going to delete this and then uh, let's actually delete this as well. Let's go to the style and let's add a div block. Call this contact form or let's call this custom request tab and uh, let's fix this. And then custom request tab will have a form block. So let's go for form block. So let's name the text field as text field. I think these are the main ones. So let's just rename this text field main. And uh, let's do the same here. And then I actually have a form that I want to uh, integrate. Well, I want to create. So let's remove the labels. Let's um, add a div block inside the form. Now, if you want to style the form, like, you know, make two rows or horizontal or vertical. So in this case, I want to make a horizontal form and then maybe one EM between each or 0 0.5 EM between each uh, field. And we'll call this form row. And um, let's actually select the custom request tab and make it into a grid because I want the form to take only half of the tab. So here will be, let's say, first name. Now I want this to be inside or full name. I want this to be inside the field so that it's a placeholder. Here will be email address. And this will be type email. This will be type plane. Uh, we'll need two more type plane. Now these need to be out of the box. So let's duplicate field row. We'll delete email address. We will duplicate the full name one. We will name this company and uh, for a placeholder company name. And then we will call this industry and for the placeholder will be the same thing. And both of these are plain. Okay, we need two more. Now these get a bit tricky. Um, I want a dropdown. So I'm just going to create a normal dropdown. Now there are ways to customize this and maybe we'll make an episode about that. But today we're just going to make a normal select option. Uh, we're going to give it the style of text field main and uh, maybe we will duplicate this just to be text, not text field, drop down field form. I'm very bad speller today. I guess I'm not made for spelling. Okay, so this will be a uh, budget. So this will say budget. And here, all right, and this will be a required section. And then let's also make sure that the text color is the same as this. So this placeholder text color is uh, sixes. Let's just make sure that we have that here. Um, let's add 
this like that. And then we'll duplicate this. There will be another one that's been going to be called service. Service. And this will be here. It will say service required. And then it will be uh, design. All right, so this is what I want. Now, one last field I want to make is the contact or message field now this one is going to be the message field so i think there is already if i say is area so this is a message field however i would like to create a message field itself because text areas can be expanded like they can grow and um up, it's up to you to the user to select that so let's call this text uh no yeah text field main and then give it a combo class of is area so it gives it a bit of height and here we will say uh, we'll have this message that says tell me more about your project when is the deadline and do you already have designs things like that now this can be customized of course but I just want a very brief thing for now and uh, let's not make this um, required and let's put the button button is subscribe okay so now we are good to go this is the form we're just going to give this form a heading perhaps let's uh, just give it a heading so let's add a heading here uh, inside the form let's make this h3 All right, and then so we'll say, um, let's work together. Uh, actually, let's make it smaller. I think H4, maybe make it H4 size. And then let's add a spacing. So space 20. And this will be padding 20 divided by 16 EM. And that's about it okay so now that we have this we're gonna link everything to Zapier but first we're just gonna name everything we're just gonna make sure that everything has the correct name so first of all let's name the form itself so the form itself is gonna be pricing request so that we know when this form is submitted uh, there is no redirect URL uh, the action is just get this information right here because then we're going to pull this information from Webflow itself. Um, let's see the success message actually. So let's always customize that because this always sucks. So the background will be and will be similar to the tab. Let's just use that and then give it a five em or one em. Uh, radius actually less what's the em here 0 0.3 give this 0 0.3 thank you your submission has been received and maybe add an emoji emoji thumbs up and uh, let's just copy this i always do that and then just add it here make it look nicer all right uh, we got dragged along okay this is pricing success message all right so let's go back to our form where is the form so the normal state okay so now we need to name everything so this one will be full name uh, just make sure it's plain it's required this one will be email address it's email it's required very good this one will be company name company not necessarily required uh, this one will be industry also not necessarily required budget is required so this one will be budget uh, this one will be service also required and then this one will be a message field so this will be 
message pricing and uh, this one is not required let's just leave it like that also let's fix this grid because i get annoyed of this um, anyways so now that we have this already done so let's go to zapier so if you're not familiar with zapier zapier is an automation tool super easy to use super simple you just create a plan or create an account it's free it's a free account now you have some ai power um, prompts that you can use so for example let's actually try this out i haven't tested it so this is the first time i want to automate workflow form submissions to my google sheet let's see what it says okay so here it actually created the zap that i wanted exactly so on form submission you create a spreadsheet row super nice so let's actually test this out so this will be pricing form submission 2023 so let's link everything so the trigger is when a webflow form is submitted we're gonna have to choose an account now i'm not sure if my account is connected but it is so let's go to level flow so it's level flow 2023 let's authorize the app and uh, this is the form okay so now it's authorized let's continue so the site name is level flow 2023 the form name is now this is one thing now i can't find the form that i just made because it hasn't been submitted i just have another form that is there it's called email form now we need we need this form which is pricing request so what we can do is first of all we of course publish and then we also have to fill in the form and at least have one form submission there so that we can use that for zapier so let's say here you are uh, you are at yar dot yar 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 <laughs> and then we'll just uh, add anything hello and then submit and then it's submitted if we go back to zapier we'll just refresh and then we will go on form name we'll see that pricing request is shown now so we're going to select that we're going to continue so this is testing my trigger uh, everything is working perfectly continue with the selected um, fields okay so now we sign into google so signing into google we will go to the form submission form or form submission table uh, we'll just make sure to map out everything so there's name email phone service uh, company budget and message right message all right and then let's uh, just make sure this is yeah fill color and uh, just something like that I don't know. okay so now we can start filling up also let's add a column to the left that says perhaps date date of submission this will be pulled in automatically from within the process so we will have that as well uh, let's go back to Zapier so now we're connected to my Google Drive account I will continue I will choose the drive so it's my Google Drive and then I will choose the spreadsheet it's called form submission so this is the spreadsheet right here and then I will choose the worksheet so there's only one sheet if you have more than one page I just have one so I choose it and then now we can continue so the date of submission will be uh, now you see that you can find the webflow fields or the information that has been pulled from webflow and you see there's a list of it right here uh, one of them is submitted at so this is a time and date stamp and then we continue to link everything to the right place so the name will be data full name the email will be data email and since we just did the example we know which one is the right one because there is a data email and i don't think this is the right one so this is the right one and then phone number 
uh, I don't think I have put a phone number so let's skip that one let's go to service uh, will be data service company will be data company budget will be data budget and then message will just have the message and then continue so now we linked everything to the right field we can test this to see everything is actually correct uh, you can see it pasted it here and then we can publish so now it's live and uh, let's just make sure that coloring wise we are good to go so everywhere I want to select everywhere except these fields to be white so no colors all right so this is form submission you can see it has the date it has the name it has the email there is no phone number so let's just delete this one uh, there's service company budget and uh, we need actually one more which is industry so let's add this to the left we'll call this industry Let's actually move this. I want it here. And so, yeah, just before the end. All right, and let's link this. Okay, so now my link, my zap is working. Great, but let's edit it. So now I can edit, edit existing draft, and then I can go and refresh. Say I want to uh, go back actually to the form submission, continue, continue, continue with the selected records, continue, and then here I can refresh fields, and then I can see services, so now services, this I can drag and drop it, so let's just fix this up, service, DW services, and then company, company, and then budget, here will be budget, and then here will be industry, right there. All right, and then here will message, okay, continue, publish, publish, we're good to go. Uh, so now let's refresh this I don't think this is gonna change but now everything from this point onwards is gonna be zapped and it's gonna be automated now you see the zap is on uh, again this is on the free version something simple something very very light pricing form submission so let's test this out let's go to my page let's refresh let's write an ER test uh, you are shady at gmail.com the company name testing agency industry testing and then we can select the budget say 20k the service design and develop this is the zap test and then we're going to submit and now that we submit we can go to the pricing or the form field the form submission uh, sheet and you can see it's right here just submitted what took like <laughs> two seconds to get this from webflow through zapier to google sheet and you can have this automated now this can be used in many use cases this is just one of the use cases and imagine the power that you have here to do thank you for watching the video i hope i taught you something today make sure to subscribe give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of webflow journey see you tomorrow